sentences for I love functioning magical items. <gasps> Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be unboxing LitJoy Crate's magical subscription box and this one is themed for magical classes. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> I'm very excited to be opening up today's box. So this is the Litroy Crate subscription box and it is Magical Classes themed. It says it right here in front of the box. And I'm very excited because I've never unboxed a Litroy Crate here on this channel. I have unboxed some of their previous boxes before I started filming YouTube videos. So it is very exciting to finally bring them to you guys. I started getting the Magical subscription from Litroy Crate back when they were doing, I think year five was my first one. I bought some stuff from their previous boxes year three and four that they sold on their website but I didn't get the full boxes until year five and then I started getting them all the way up until they're like Diagon Alley themed crate I think it was the beginning of this year January of 2021 but then I skipped out on a few of them just to save some money and I wanted to try out some other subscription boxes and then I started filming for you guys so now we're here <laughs> we're gonna be opening this one up and personally one of my favorite things about these subscription boxes is the quality that are in each item so I'm really excited to see what they're gonna be doing with magical classes you know we've got herbology we've got divinations we've got defense against the dark arts transfiguration there's so many classes potions i'm sure there's a potion in here i would think but <laughs> we'll see let's talk about the box because the box is artwork in itself a lot of people collect and keep the boxes i do i have them all they're stored away in my closet because i don't know where i'll display them here but i don't want to get rid of them because they're so pretty but let's talk about the front so it just says their branding in the front, magical classes, and we've got some Hogwarts students. And then on this side, we've got Ron, Harry, and Professor Snape in potion. And then this side, we have Transfiguration with Professor McGonagall. And then here on the back, we've got Professor Flitwick, and we are practicing Wingardium Leviosa. So that is charms. Then we've got divinations on this side, and I'm sure that's lavender brown with that pink bow. <laughs> and then on the bottom here is where they put the packing slip label, but it's an astronomy tower, I'm sure. So that is really cool, but that is everything. <laughs> hanging off the side. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Seal has been broken. We are going to be getting a little sneak peek. Here you go. That's all you get. Let's go ahead and get in here. We have something on top, which of course is your Hogwarts weekly schedule. I'm thinking that this is the cheat sheet. So we're going to put this to the side. We'll check that out last. And then I see something really cute that caught my eye and it's a little kitty. How adorable. And I don't know if this is a tote inside. Let's find out. It's got this little string and clip. So I'm guessing this is for transfiguration. I just took the whole thing off. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I'm sure I could feed it back in. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is transfiguration and this is like Professor McGonagall. So cute. So you take this out. It's still connected. I think it's going to be a tote. Okay, that is really cute. Look, I did not expect there to be like a design on the bag on the inside, but it's all about transfiguration, showing you like the step-by-step -step diagram. That is super cool. And then on the back side, they didn't spare any expense on detail because there is a really beautiful artwork of a cat. I really am gonna say that that is McGonagall as cat form, but just says transfiguration, lessons, um, numeral number X11. I don't know, I'm really, I don't know what that is. But anyways, <laughs> I'm the worst. It says cat to bag. <gasps> You're transforming the cat into a bag, of course. That is, that is so smart. That is really cool. Wow. Who thinks of these things, but, so happy to have this. Can't go wrong with another tote bag. I definitely have so many. It's like a collection. I think I collect totes. I can't stop myself from buying them when I'm out, if they're really cute, especially Harry Potter themed. So now I have another one and I don't have any that like go inside a bag like this. So that's really cool, but let's 
move that to the side and go to item number two. So there's like three boxes next, and this one says Mandragora Officiorum. Sure. <laughs> This is what it says, and I'm sure there's a mandrake inside for Herbology. This is just some of the details on the box. So let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, it looks ceramic. Okay. Stop. Oh, okay, look at this cute little grumpy face. And this is inside the little pot. Oh my gosh, you could put a real plant in here. I probably will put a fake one, but I like the option to put a real one because they have a drainage hole on the bottom here. And it is really, really cute. Okay, and then there's something else. Oh, I think it broke. Oh no. Well, that's something that can happen with ceramic items. It's in pieces. Okay. One thing to note, I know that Litjoy Crate has a really great uh, customer service, so I'm sure if I reach out to them, they will replace it. They did wrap it up in bubble wrap, and it was inside this box, but it just wasn't enough with shipping, I'm sure, but oof, it happens, so... Oh my god, I'm just getting it all over my desk. Okay, I'll show you what... It's supposed to look like so it looks like the mandrake sits inside this little pot and then you were to pull them out of the pot that would have been so cute I will definitely reach out to their customer service and hopefully get this replaced because what a shame this is so cute okay I'm not gonna mess with it anymore because I already have like a lot of fragments getting everywhere I'm just gonna put that right back into the box all right let's go to item number three <laughs> And it's another box. So this one is Potion Ingredients, carefully selected by Pippin's Potions. So it's in this gorgeous blue box. It says on the back here, salt and pepper, and then some tiny little font underneath it. There's a little blue flame, and I don't know what that is on this side, but let's open it up and find out. <gasps> cute, already, I'm saying cute, and all I see is corks, but. I don't know, I just feel like I'm getting multiple things, so it seems cute. <laughs> cool, am I gonna be able to make my own potion ingredients? Or am I getting a salt and pepper shaker? What? Okay, this is cute. I'm getting a <gasps> magical salt and pepper shaker. This is so cool. Okay, and I love that I have options. So here we go. Let me show you, stop freaking out. So here we got pepper, here we got salt, and then on the top, you can actually use it and have them like actually functioning. Or they give you little cork stoppers. So I could just probably pop that off and then put this on. And I could display it on my potion shelves if I don't want to actually use them and have stuff come out. I don't know what I'm going to do. They're so cute. I love the labels. They're so simple, but very adorable. Very well executed. Okay, this excites me. I love functioning magical items. So yes, love, love, love this. Great idea. So my salt pepper shakers. Okay, so we have another box here. Ooh, let's just go, yeah, let's just open it. Let's open it. Let's not hold it, hold it to the side. All right, bubble wrap, we'll put you over here. And it just says magical Litjoy crate on the box. But Joy creates magical collection. I'm sure it's something made by them. All right, opening this one up. <gasps> okay, so this one is gonna be divinations themed. <gasps> this is so cute. I love these little teacups. <gasps> so what do you think you're gonna have inside? My dear, you have the Grim. <laughs> so we have the Grim inside, and I think it actually says that, right? <gasps> My dear, you have the Grim. That is so cute. I love the details on the edge there. So this is the inside. The magic doesn't stop on the inside. You also have the outside that is just so beautiful. And which one is it? The pink one that she didn't want Neville to use or the blue one? Because one is her favorite. So she knows he's gonna drop it and crack it. I think the pink one. 
but that is so cute. I love this. And it has Lit Joy Crate's little stamp on the bottom. Really love this. It's so cute and petite. It's definitely gonna make a small thing of tea if you're gonna actually use it, but if you wanna display it too, it's super cute. I love, love, love. Okay, next magical item I see on top. <gasps> so the next one is gonna be from Care of Magical Creatures. So what do you think is going to represent that? Let me take it out of this plastic. It's so big. It's the monster book of monsters. <laughs> Look how cute. We gotta stroke the spine so it doesn't attack us, but it is a chunky little guy. Super fluffy and furry. We've got the eyes, you've got the text. I think it's a box. Okay, it is a box. Oh, it opens like this. That's so cute. So you can put some magical items in here. You can put jewelry in here. There are so many uses. I'm definitely gonna be displaying this one on my bookshelves. That's so cool. I could put like extra pins in here or little things I don't wanna like actually display on my bookshelves. I just really love that and it's super cute and fluffy and I love that it's multi-purpose. You can hide things in it. Very adorable. Love the representation for Care of Magical Creatures. Of course we gotta get Monster Book of Monsters. That is a must. All right, so I think we only have one more item. No, we have, we have a couple more items. We got one more item in a box. <laughs> So let's go ahead and open this up. Another Lit Joy Crate exclusive. This is something super thin. I don't know what class could be next. So, so far we've got Care of Magical Creatures, we've got Divinations, we've got Potions, we've got Herbology. Um, oh, Transfiguration. So we've had five items, right? Yep, one, two, three, four, five. So we've had five items. We are on item number six. What class have we not gone over that could be in here? I don't know if they're gonna do anything for Muggle Studies. <laughs> or History of Magic, maybe. Um, we haven't gone over Ancient Runes. We haven't done, what else? I don't know. Let's see. I think it's gonna be another item in this for the classes. It goes for your tea glass. That's so cute. This completes the set for a divination. <gasps> How stinking cute. I love that it comes with a plate. This is so adorable. <gasps> I will definitely be displaying this. All right, so we still have some more items. They're smaller in here, but let's take a look. I'm just gonna stick my hand in here. Found something in plastic wrap. Oh, is this a pin? This is so cute. Let's open it up and see. Oh wait, I don't think this is a pin. There's no backing to it. Maybe it's a magnet? Okay, so I'm not sure if it's a magnet. What are these? Oh, they are magnets. Okay, they're just stick, like sticky stuff to the paper. <gasps> That's cool. I don't think we've gotten any magnets from Lit Droid Crate before. This one is going to represent Defense Against the Dark Arts, and it has all of the unforgivable curses in magnet form on here. So on top in the skull, we've got the killing curse. And then this one with like their hands tied up is the torture curse. And then this one, we have them like as a puppeteer. And that's perfect for the imperious curse because that's the one where they make them do what they want. And then the text here underneath them says the use of any one of them on a following human being is enough to earn a life sentence to Azkaban. And I think that's so cool that we got some magnets and they are really well done. So that is our magnets here. All right, next, we've got a little felt baggie. I think this is a magical coin. I mean, by the shape, it's a circle. <laughs> I think they've been doing that. So the one I got in January, I got a Alohomora. One. So I think these are their spell coins. So which one did we get? Of course, four charms. We've got Wingardium Leviosa, and we've got a floating feather here. Super gorgeous. <laughs> Gotta go get that. And on the back side is the actual wand movement to do Wingardium Leviosa. You got swish and flip. <laughs> happy to add this to my collection. Right now I have a little Niffler down here that is kind of hoarding all of my magical coins. So I'm sure my Niffler will want to get its hands on that one as well. 
All right, so it looks like we got some more paper goodies in here. This next one is gonna be another one of their um, photo strips. So I do have one of Hagrid and Harry. That was from their Dyke and Alley one. So let's see who's on here. I see Luna. So first we've got Luna in her Spectra spec, and I believe that this is Professor Lockhart. Next we have, I think Lockhart, oh my gosh, he's in every single one. He's photobombing. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Not sure who this is. Someone who's in the DA. And we have Professor Trelawney. And then on the bottom, we've got the Hogwarts ghost. And of course, he would definitely photobomb everybody during their photo strips because the attention always has to be on him. Super funny. And then on the back, they have some more of their information. So then next items. Okay, let me just pull. I think we just got two more. So this next one is gonna be an artwork. So they always include these as well that are going to represent a class. This is Herbology. You've got all the screaming mandrakes. And I believe that the person that does the artwork for these is also the one that does the artwork for all these boxes. So that is super cool. Oh my gosh, I totally missed this when I was opening it. Of course, there's another thing of artwork. So you've got Professor Lockhart with these pesky Cornish pixies. So funny, I'm so glad that they showed that on here and represented it, that's so funny. I love that. That's my favorite one on the whole box. All right, so that is everything. There's one more paper good in here, and it says, join the Lunicorns today, the night sky, a student's guide. So Lunicorns is LitJoy Crate's membership. It's like an exclusive one where they do drops for just them, and this gives you more information to their group. You get an exclusive Facebook group, and I think there's just some more information. Oh, and then inside here, there's a beautiful like astrology map, I think is what you would call it. This is really pretty. I love that they made this like multi-purpose. So it's information about how to join Lunicorns and information about Lunicorns and then the astrology paperwork. So that is so cool. I'll definitely leave all their information to Literary Create so you can find them. You can find more information about Lunicorns if you wanna join down in my description box below. All right, so that is going to be everything in today's box. We do have the cheat sheet to go over. I love how on theme they made this cheat sheet as well. So this has your Hogwarts weekly schedule on it. And it says on top, Monday, we've got Care of Magical Creatures, Divinations, twice, question mark, <laughs> Defense Against the Dark Arts, Lunch, then Muggle Studies, Owl Exam, Scheduled Transfiguration, Charms, Arithmacy. Tuesday, we've got Care of Magical Creatures, Potions, two turns <laughs> so i just have all these little notes and stuff on there so cute so that is everything on the front so this is something you could definitely display and use on here because nothing about what's in the box is on the front this is all just like stuff that would be in your weekly school schedule and there's handwritten notes i just love that it says what time breakfast is classes are always respect curfew from 9 p.m to 6 a.m Library, you've got times. Is this Hermione's? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna say because it says help Ron <laughs> with his herbology homework. That makes so much more sense. So it says Hermione Granger. This is her weekly schedule. Wonder why I was like, what does two turns mean? It's so she can make it to her classes with her time turner. So that's so cool. They are just so creative there at Lit Joy Crate. And then quickly here, I wanna go over the cheat sheet. So it says magical classes. To represent charms, we've got the collectible coin. For transfiguration, we've got our foldable cat bag. For defense against the dark arts, we've got the enamel magnets. For herbology, we've got the mandrake. And unfortunately, the little pot did break. So I will be reaching out. For potions, we've got the seasoning potion shakers. They are so cute. I'm so excited to use them. I did not realize. Okay, so this is a Ravenclaw common room photo strip. So everyone on here is Ravenclaw. That's cool. For care of magical creatures, we've got our monster book of monsters storage box. And then for divination, we've got our teacup and saucer. And then last but not least, we've got our magical classes themed art print. And it says tip, always wear your earmuffs. But that is everything. And there's so many more details that they include on this sheet, but I don't want to take too much time and go over it. So if you want to pause and read any of them, feel free to do so. All right, now I wanna go over some of my favorites and some of my least favorites. So my very favorite item, 
It's hard to pick. I really do like a lot of them. All right, I feel like I have a few favorites, but if I had to pick a number one favorite, I don't know. I feel like it would have been the Mandrake if I had the pot for it, but since it's broken, it's kind of can't be my favorite, can it? I don't know. Maybe it will be because I'll get it replaced, I'm sure. And then I also really loved the divination cup and saucer. I thought that was really well done. I love the details on the side, but this is something that has been done before in other previous subscription boxes. I just like their rendition of it. I thought this one was super creative as well. I haven't seen anybody do this with the Monster Book of Monsters, so I think this one's also really awesome and one of my favorites. And then for like honorable mention, I guess I would say this salt shakers because I want to include them in my favorites. I think this is so cute because we always get potions, but we don't get potions that you can use. Well, they're not just potions. This is supposed to be potions ingredients. So salt and pepper. I just think that was so cool. And I love that they included cork tops too, if you want to do, if you don't want to use them as like salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, I feel like everything was my favorite. And then least favorite, I guess would be these prints. I love the artwork. I think it's amazing and I could never do something like this myself. <laughs> but personally for me, I won't be framing them or displaying them. So that's the only reason why I would consider them my least favorite. For the photo strip, if I was a Ravenclaw, I would totally be loving this. Or if I had like a Luna shelf, maybe I could display it. But I just don't have any of those. I do have my Hagrid and Harry strip with my Hagrid here. It's just in the back. I think it's so cute together. So I have liked a photo strip in the past. It's just this one personally, I don't know if I'll be using it. So that's the only reason why. And maybe the magnets, just because I don't have really anywhere else to display these besides my fridge. And I don't really like to put a whole lot of magnets on my fridge. I like to keep it kind of clean. But I do appreciate that they gave something other than pins. Just for me, if I had pins, I could probably display this. Um, once I do get a pin board, I wanna like do a little DIY for a pin board, or maybe eventually get the one from Pottery Barn Team. That one's super cute, but for magnets, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know if I'll display them. I'll pull them to the side and then maybe one day I'll have something magnetic to display them on. So if I had to pick, I guess those would be my least favorites and then the other items were my favorites. But that is just my personal opinion. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite item was and what your least favorite item was. Do you subscribe to Litroy Crate? Did you get this box? Are you going to be subscribing to them in the future? Let me know. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Please let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do more Litroy Crate magical unboxings. And as always, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Also, did you notice? Got some lights. Got some lights in the background. Let me know if you noticed. If you did notice and you leave a comment about it, I'll know that you made it through this entire video. <laughs> Bye.